Yeah, it's quite tough. It's quite tough, you know, waking up in the morning at half past four, preparing yourself and going to work, working from eight to half past four. It's quite an intense. And also working in a lab, you're forever busy, you know, from the day it starts and until the day ends. And that time you still have to, you know, walk around taxis and from one taxi to another. And then by the time you get home, you're exhausted. But it, it takes a discipline. It takes a discipline because without discipline, I don't think I would be able to really uh, to multitask like I'm doing, you know. So basically, it's my passion that's carrying me, giving me, carrying me on and on and on to be able to do this. You know, my, my mom and dad are very supportive, you know, because at first they were not. At first they were not. It's like, you know, you need to do modeling instead of doing karate. It's for men and you, you're going to hurt yourself. You're going to break your leg. And I said, mom, really modeling? Because I did modeling. And um, once we, our altered competition and I won, but it was not my thing. You know, I didn't feel really, I felt like so soft and vulnerable as well. I think I was too soft and vulnerable. I thought, no, I needed a challenge, something that really gonna give me the goal to really go challenge my body, my physique on a daily basis. And karate, yeah, it's, it's what, one thing that I found really challenging. To me, being a champion doesn't mean that um, I have to like stay on that level. For me, being a champion means more challenges for me. Like every time I have to go back and analyze my fights and say, where can I improve? But one thing that I've, I wanted to do is being the world champion and 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 in, in in different you know categories of 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 the weight division because in karate we fight in weight divisions and i was so close in in, in russia and, and nailing that but I, uh, unfortunately i got at that place which was quite an achievement for us as south africans and and being able to bring that trophy back home as well to say yes we were there we did it Two, three, <laughs> Uh, my greatest achievements that um, okay uh, that I've won it's been give, given the privilege to be invited in Japan to the women's world tournament that was held there is, uh, in, in Okinawa, and that was in 2005. That was my first international tournament, which I uh, got my first place won. And also on the same year, I was invited, invited to the women's world kata, where I placed six. And in 2009, I was invited to Hungary in the World Tournament, Kyokushin World Tournament, where I got the position three. So those are my greatest achievements, where representing South Africa and going out, showing that we also have the talent, we have the capabilities. We, we're having a World Tournament, we, as we're having this national, we're preparing for a World Tournament in 2012, which uh, I've also been selected to go represent there as well. So yeah, basically, um, we're hoping that by the time it gets there, we will be all resourced and all well equipped. We need financial support, very. We need financial support because we struggle when we have to compete overseas. You know, we battle to prepare because of resources. We don't have enough resources to prepare. We need even to use, you know, other things just to get strength, even to run on roads, carry stones, you know, just to get that extra stone, but of which is not right for our body. We need right resources, of which you can see we're still lacking a bit of right material of equipment, of training. Especially living in the township, you know, we struggle a bit of a discipline sport where you find people don't dedicate themselves and are way out and I just feel like but when I went to karate it's where I found the crowd to say yeah this is what I'm looking for you know the discipline that I found there you know the dedication the, you know the training the way it was so intense I felt this is the challenge I'm looking for because I love challenges and I thought this is where what I want and ever since I never looked back the mindset has changed in such a way that you know that introducing more females into 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 the panel team, you know, where we, we, we have to to have the input. But before it was not like that. Women were like being put at the back. You know, we had no to utter a word or say something. But now it's where we in the forefront. You know, doing it and. And it's, it's, it's quite very interesting. That's why we're still in this game. And do you find a lot of people are quite surprised when you, when you tell them you're a black belt karate? It's like, even at work, like, what? You don't like the high school, like, wow, you're doing karate. You, you, you don't structure like somebody who's doing karate. And I said, yes, I'm a black belt karate girl and I'm a world champion as well. So basically, I don't show, but in the ring, it's a difference. <laughs> <laughs>